Thanks for joining me here on Local on 2. I'm Laura Schweizer, and as you can see, my co-host Larissa has decided to venture out of the studio for the day, not because she doesn't want to be here, but because she heard about a spot that has dogs, per usual. And if there is one thing that I know for sure, it is that Larissa is a huge dog lover. So let's see how she's doing over at Nashville Barrel Company, one of the distilleries that's actually now part of Tales on the Trails. Hi, Larissa. How's it going? Hi, Laura. Well, I can't complain. I am here with Charity sitting next to me. We've got Rex, Otis, and beautiful Stella. And this is Nashville Barrel Company. And we are, as you said, at one of the local distilleries that is now dog friendly. It's all part of the Tales on the Trail program to get people out and enjoying the wonderful whiskey that Tennessee has to offer. There's about 28 distilleries that are part of the whiskey trail. And we are going to find out more. So Charity, Tell us about this program because there's nothing better than drinking and dogs. Absolutely. Well, this spring, it's been a great time to be on the trail. We did launch Tales of the Trail, which is a trip guide to help guests can experience uh, Tennessee spirits as well as bring their four-legged friends. And so we know that uh, people are traveling more with their pets than ever, and we want them to come to Tennessee, partake of our offerings, and experience our distilleries at the same time. I mean, it's the best of two worlds. Okay, and let's talk about the fact that as a human, if you've gone on the Tennessee with Whiskey Trail, you know that you can download what's called a passport, where you get basically stamps every time you visit a distillery. So with the dogs, they're not left out of it. What do you have for the dogs? So we do have a passport program where uh, trail guests and their pooches can explore the distilleries, partake of their offerings, as well as offerings for their four-legged friends, and then collect a stamp um, and earn prizes along the way. That's amazing. Paw sport. So you got to have your passport and your paw Absolutely. sport with you and you get to win prizes. And now I, I mentioned it a second ago, but Tennessee and whiskey, what a history. Tell us a little bit about why this place is so known for its wonderful whiskey. Absolutely. Well, I mean, it's, it's iconic, right? You don't have Tennessee without whiskey. And so for us, really the Tennessee whiskey trail is a way for us to bring that history to life and experience really what um, started, you know, with before prohibition and has been really um, on the rise since about 2009 and the ability to overturn legislation to allow distilling across the state. And you've really seen that boom where now there's 40 plus distilleries across the state. There's 28 stops um, that run from Memphis all the way to Bristol. And so you're really seeing people um, enjoy all that's being crafted here as well as enjoying the destinations and the history that make those distilleries unique. And you know, if you don't love whiskey, I'm still kind of dipping my foot or my toe into it. You know, Nashville Barrel Company has other drinks. They have wine. They made me up a great tequila and a margarita. So don't be afraid to check out these distilleries as well, even if maybe you're just getting into the whiskey world. Um, and last but not least, I'd love to ask about the fact that the Tennessee Trail, the whiskey trail, has something for everyone. Each distillery has something very unique. So what do you guys have to offer? I think that's a great point. You know, for us, we want people to come on to enjoy the spirits, and I think you hit on a great point. There is more than whiskey being crafted here. If it's distilled, we're making it, and I think Nashville Barrel is a great example of that. More than anything, we want people to enjoy the many offerings of the state. The state has to offer in general outdoor adventure, history, music, culinary, and we provide trip guides to really help guests come in. <laughs> Excuse you, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> to come in and partake of that, as well as really those uh, outdoor amenities and other offerings that they can do while they're here. Yeah, yeah, if you're an adventurer, they have something. If you love waterfalls, they've got it. If you're a foodie, they've got it. I mean, they've basically got you covered no matter what. And again, this all started back in 2017, which is amazing. So you guys, get moving, get to the Whiskey Trail, and let me let you know where to go for more information online. You can go to tnwhiskeytrail.com. But we will be back later in the show with a lot more and the dogs, of course.